Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And today's topic for discussion is Can retention of protonated base increase with decreasing pH? Generally, the retention time of a protonated base in a lower pH is always lower. However, is there a possibility that the retention of protonated base actually gets increased at the lower pH? And that is something we are going to talk today. So any basic compound can stay into anionic or ionic state dependent on to the pH and pKa. It has been said that if the pH is greater than pKa plus 2, the basic compound stays unionized. Isn't it? It, it? it will not undergo ionization. And as it is not going under ionization, it stays less polar or non-polar. And in case if you apply the reverse phase uh, principles, retention principles, one can easily conclude that such a less polar, unionized basic compound will have the longer retention time. However, in case if uh, you adjust the pH of mobile phase towards acidic side, much less than pKa minus 2, in that case, your basic compound is undergoing protonation. And because of that protonation, it becomes BH plus, it becomes ionic, it becomes more polar. And as the compound becomes more polar, in the reverse phase liquid chromatography, it will attain the lower retention time. I hope you understand how the retention of a basic compound gets influenced with the change of the pH. So, we just discussed that retention of protonated base decreases at low pH. But the point is, is it possible to increase in the retention time of a protonated base with low pH? And that is what the point of discussion for today. Now, there are a few references which talks about the above statement is true. The first example is, as per one study, the increase in retention time in a low pH region of basic ophthalmic compounds on a C18 column was observed when phosphate, trifluoroacetate and perchlorate were employed as a counter anion. Now you must have seen some of these mobile phases containing this kind of acidic modifiers. And here is the exact point. Such acidic modifiers in a high quantity or concentration can result in the increase in the retention time of a protonated base at a lower pH value. It has been shown as the pH was decreased from 3 to 1, the retention for amino indanol, a basic pharmaceutical compound, increased when perchloric, trifluoroacetic acid, nitric and phosphoric acids were used as a acidic modifiers. Last but not the least, the third example. Another study showed when modified, sorry, when mobile phase additives such as perchlorate, nitrate were employed, the retention of propanolol, which is a basic racemate drug substance, gets increased on a chiral ODR column. So with the reference of these three examples, we will try to establish what is the theory behind this increase in the retention time for a protonated base. The theory number one that we are going to talk today is the formation of an ion pair with a solute in the mobile phase. Solute means which solute now? The solute is the acidic modifiers, the perchlorate, the phosphate, the nitrate, isn't it? So that is the so solute in the present in the mobile phase and how the solute present into the mobile phase can form this ion pair. Let us assume a situation where you have the very low pH value less than the uh, pK minus 2 and in that situation your base is going to get protonated which is represented by pH plus. Suppose you add a perchlorate and perchlorate will have ClO4 minus and plus this BH plus. So as per this theory, the neutral complex between perchlorate ion and protonated base is going to form. Now once this opposite charge forms a complex ion, now it is going to be charge less 
compound and because of that it is going to be a less polar or non-polar and we also always know that in case if the compound is non-polar in the nature it will always have the higher retention time in the reverse phase liquid chromatography and that way the retention time of protonated base will get increased at the decreased pH value. The only important point is what the concentration of this uh, acidic modifiers should be at higher side means your pH could be 1 or 3. Always take care of your uh, column sales too because some columns may not be performing well at the very acidic pH like 1. The second theory which talks about the retention of protonated base that is the modification of hydrophobic character of the stationary phase. Again the situation is same. You are operating your HPLC system at the pH equal to less than pK minus 2 and you have the protonated base now represented by BH plus. Suppose you are using a bonded stationary phase like C8 or C18. Now this uh, acidic modifiers like perchlorate, nitrate, phosphate, they have the anion and this anion can get deposited or get adhered onto this hydrophobic C8 or stationary phase with the help of their hydrophobic end and this is going to make the stationary phase now anionic in the nature or ionic in the nature. Now what is the charge present onto your compound? The BH plus. But now your stationary phase has got a negative charge and because of this the ion exchange phenomenon is possible due to which your protonated base can get retained for more time onto the stationary phase. And hence you can expect the increased retention time for the protonated base at a much low pH value. Theory number 3 the dissolvation of protonated basic analyte. So how this theory works to retain our protonated base, let us understand. The protonated base BH plus is represented here at the center and uh, it is surrounded by water molecules as it is solvated in the presence of water molecules. Now such a condition makes the protonated base hydrophilic. And as it is hydrophilic or more polar, it is going to have the very poor retention time in RPLC. However, once you increase the concentration of your acidic modifiers like perchlorate, phosphate or nitrate, now this disruption, this uh, solvation of the molecules which earlier got surrounded by water molecules is going to get disrupted because now there are molecules which are little hydrophobic in the nature which are represented by the red color over here. Now because of the disruption in the solvation of the analyte, this analyte will become slightly hydrophobic and as the analyte becomes slightly hydrophobic, what is expected retention time in RPLC of such a molecule? It is going to be a little higher as compared to the hydrophilic water molecule. So this is the third theory which also talks about when there is a possibility of increased retention time of a protonated base at the much lower pH. Let me also understand what is your view on this particular, particular topic. I would like to read the comment of some of you. Thank you so much.